This is actor Charles Boyer, a French-born actor who became one of Hollywood's most suave and debonair screen lovers. Boyer was born on the 28th day of August in 1899 in southwestern France. He was the only child of Maurice and Lois Boyer. Charles's father unfortunately died of a stroke when Charles was only 10 years old. While living with his mother for years, before the end of World War I, a film crew came to a nearby town to do local shooting. He was offered a bit part. He was then encouraged by one of the actors to go to Paris and study acting. In 1920, Charles stepped into a theatrical role after the actor became ill and he, of course, was a success. By the mid-twenties, he had made quite a name for himself as a stage actor. Although he could speak several European languages, he couldn't speak English. Irving Thalberg of MGM convinced him to learn English for American films. While on one of his trips to Hollywood, at a dinner party, the usually reserved and quiet actor, sometimes referred to by his friends as a stick in the mud, met Patricia Patterson, a rising starlet from Fox Studios. It was love at first sight for both of them. In 1934, shortly after that, they were married. She was 22, and Charles was 34. They remained faithfully married for the rest of their lives, which is no easy task for a Hollywood couple. Although the couple tried living the Hollywood lifestyle, both soon tired of it and eventually moved to a permanent home in Paradise Valley, close to Scottsdale, Arizona. And in 1943, Michael, their only child, was born. Charles Boyer acted in over 80 films during his career. He starred with the almost ever leading lady in Hollywood. His wife of 44 years, Pat Patterson, acted in over 20 before giving it up to attend her family. Charles Boyer placed his hands, footprint, and signature in cement at Grumman's Chinese Theater on the 24th of July in 1942. He has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for film and one for TV. It's located on the south side of 6300 block Hollywood Boulevard. That same year he became an American citizen and he stated he loved the United States, especially the money. Tragedy struck the Boyer family after midnight on the 23rd of September 1965 when their only son, Michael, committed suicide by a single gunshot to the temple. He was at his Coldwater Canyon home. He was distraught over arguing with his girlfriend, telling his house guests that he could not live without her. Michael was 21 years old. Although Charles continued to work in films, the loss of his son Michael was a heavy blow. 
an unfortunate 13 years later, his beloved wife, Pat Patterson Boyer, passed away on the 26th of August, 1978, from terminal brain cancer. Ironically, two days later, on the 28th, unable to stand the loss, Charles Boyer committed suicide by taking an overdose of barbiturates while staying at friend's house. Charles Boyer was 78 years old. He is buried along with his wife and son at the Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California.